Broadcasting live, KSLA News 12 starts now. Uh, multiple victims, uh, we believe at this point around six or seven uh, people inside the resident uh, were injured from gunfire uh, and at least four uh, of the victims inside the resident uh, were juveniles. A violent weekend across the U.S., multiple mass shootings, including two in Louisiana, one in our backyard in Shreveport's Martin Luther King neighborhood. It's just frustrating to have yet another incident. Uh, where multiple, there are multiple victims of gunshots in Shreveport. Police tell us five adults and three children were targeted inside this Shreveport home. A woman and a three-year-old are listed in critical condition. And in Baton Rouge, 12 people injured in a shooting early Sunday morning at a nightclub. At this point, we can say that uh, it is believed to be a targeted attack and that no, this was not just a random act. And in California. You have 10 unresponsive inside, and you have two that are still in critical condition of breathing, total 12. At least 10 people were killed in a mass shooting Saturday at a dance studio in Monterey Park. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been more than 30 mass shootings in the U.S. so far this year, leaving over 50 individuals dead and 125 injured. And I hope that this tragedy doesn't just go on a long list of many others that we don't even talk about until the next one comes up. Detectives from California to Louisiana left wrapping their minds around another set of senseless shootings, with Shreveport investigators once again handling another weekend of violence gunman opening fire with innocent children wounded by the gunfire. I'm just sick and tired that you have to come out, you're comforting families for their children, for their children, for their loved ones. You know, how many more children do you want to hurt? And that was Report City Councilwoman Tabitha Taylor. You heard there sharing her ongoing disgust with the violence and the violent crime in Shreveport. The latest mass shooting happened at a home Sugar Lane in the MLK neighborhood. KS Lake Chief Investigative Reporter Stacy Cameron was on scene yesterday shortly after police and paramedics raced there as well. Uh, he's live now at the hospital where many of those family members still recovering tonight, including children. And sadly, it's a pattern we've seen for some time. Children and young teens falling victim and many times teens pulling the trigger. Yeah, that's right, Doug, and tonight investigators are still trying to track down the people responsible for that shooting that sent eight people here to Oxner LSU Health. Now, you mentioned I went back to that neighborhood, the MLK neighborhood, earlier today, the chaos of the police squad cars, the crime scene investigators, and crying family members long gone, but there's still reminders of how close this shooting came and still could be tragic. A piece of yellow crime tape, bullet holes in the windows and walls, a blue glove left by crime scene investigators. These are the reminders that this tiny brown home at the intersection of Sugar Street and Northside Road was the scene of a mass shooting that sent eight people to the hospital, including three small children, two girls aged three and five, and a three-year-old boy. Hearing the news at his church just a few blocks away. What makes your heart drop? Minister Vincent Gordon says whoever opened fire, pumping 39 rounds into this home where children were at play. Just tells you how far we've gone as a society where we don't care where we shoot. Is living with a depraved heart and a reckless disregard for life. The malice within their heart it didn't care who was there, who was around. Really give you a a, a deep down feeling of, of, of the depravity of the society in which we live. With two of the victims critically injured and facing life-threatening injuries, Minister Gordon says he's now praying for the victim's health. We're just looking to help. Hoping their physical healing will spark the spiritual recovery of a city plagued by gun violence and pain. It's up to us. Uh, to make the change. The government's not going to be able to do it. Uh, new laws are not going to be able to do it. It's a one-on-one -on -one type thing. Say, what can I do about this? What, how can I affect the lives of someone else? Now, 
Shreveport police tell us that they spoke with witnesses who say a black or dark colored SUV pulled up to that home around 2 o'clock yesterday. Multiple men got out and fired on that home. SPD still looking for suspects. They say it was part of an ongoing dispute between two groups, but SPD is adamant. They won't call this gang activity and they won't go further into the elements of the crime to say what that ongoing dispute is about. But listen to this. I look back at our own reporting here at KSLA since January 1st. I identified us reporting on at least nine shootings where 19 people have been injured so far this year, three of them killed. It's been a deadly start to 2023. Reporting live outside the hospital, Stacy Cameron, KSLA News 12. All right, Stacy Cameron, live for us tonight. Thank you, sir.